Bumblebee, stop lubricating the map. You tell me a better way to introduce the Transformers video. I dare you. Hey there, everyone. That sexy nerd is back again. And we're into... Uh, I, I thought we'd do something special for Transformers today. Uh, I thought we could go over the Fall of Cybertron trailer. Everybody was always like, this This honestly has like a lot higher views than I thought it would. Because I feel like nobody played this freaking game. Like, I I was like, man, I felt like I was the only one who was like starting it. And that's probably one of the reasons why I like didn't finish it. Like, I had nobody to talk to about it, you know? Because I felt like I was the only one playing it. I feel like it came out in that time. I feel it came out in like around that time where... Uh, People were starting to hate on the Transformers a little bit too much, you know, especially because I think this was around the time the fourth Transformer movie came out. And everybody was like already sick of it. Fourth and fifth. It has to be between either or. But at least the first uh, War of Cybertron was actually a pretty damn good game. But at least for me, I was like, yeah. But then I got into this game and I never finished it. I really I'm, I'm hopefully going to finish it myself. Uh just letting you guys know. Me and my nephew are probably just going to go and play it and just finish it. But we're trying to play through War of Cybertron right now, you know? You know, I just introduced that to him and, you know, we're just going through that. But yeah, um, I remember this trailer and everything. Everybody was always like, everybody who always revisits this game that I see online just seems to be like, oh, they put like the best... Uh, production values into this game and I'm like yeah what are you guys talking about like this is always like this and and again even though I say I never finished this game I got through a pretty good amount of it I think I was like pretty much at the end I just didn't finish it or something for some reason I think something else came out around that time too I think it was in 2012 and I believe I was around I was about to finish it and I think The Last of Us came out around that time and then I think that that's the only reason why I didn't finish it because The Last of Us is one of my favorite games of all time. Like seriously, uh it either it, it either beats Kingdom Hearts 2 or or it's it's either one of those, you know? I mean and then I I, I got a weird list for video games. I got like a whole separate list for Final Fantasy games, which is nine. Nine is the best game. I defy you to tell me otherwise. But anyway, uh, I thought we'd, I, I'd watch the trailer and, uh, you know, I watched the, the original um, trailer that set up the whole thing because, again, everybody just seems to always say that this trailer is so freaking fantastic. Uh, now, everybody's always saying that this game is underrated as hell. Both of these games are underrated as hell. Honestly, these should have been big sellers just like the Michael Bay movies, but they really weren't. There were nothing compared to those movies. And honestly, I think they deserve that more than them, than the source, than the actual, you know, because these actually go off the source material a little bit more. It's based on the cartoons that we watched as a kid, but, you know, more adult, which is pretty freaking awesome. So, yeah, uh, before I get into another rant that I'm sure y'all Transformer fans are, are really going to agree with, let's just get into the trailer. And remember, please, smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and ready content, and subscribe if you think I deserve it. Let's do this thing, y'all. I do this looks fantastic. Stop screaming now! I forgot how badass this pillar was. So...
Yeah, I love how in this trailer that, you know, there's so much you could tell by like that, you know, just in the most hopeless of circumstances and while all of his friends are being annihilated at this point, it's crazy that Optimus still keeps on fighting on. It still inspires how much, uh, inspires all the love and devotion that his, that all the Autobots give him. And any time, at any side, I'd rather pick Optimus right over Megatron because Megatron is a piece of shit. See? This is such a piece of shit. Oh, is that Devastator? Oh, see, that's the time where Megatron should go like, Devastator! Rather than in the movie. <laughs> is that Grimlock? Yeah, it totally is! Yeah, seriously, it was such a great time for games. 2012 was such a great time for movies and games. Okay, so I decided to go into both trailers, honestly, because I remember both trailers having a big impact on everything. So let, let's just do it. Let's just do both trailers. High Moon Studios is killing it for a while. It feels like a Michael Bay trench Oh! <laughs> oh! See, this is the fight we should have gotten in the movie. Being not devastating. Jeez, like again, these games, they won't really make me want to play these games, but again, just one day at a time, one day at a time. But yeah, oh, man, it was so awesome. So those those games, both of those trailers are so awesome. The first one was a lot better, but yeah, I mean, it just really got through the war and everything like that, and they just put everything in it, and it's the Transformers movie that we all wanted. I remember everybody's always saying, the Bumblebee movie is the closest thing. The the opening the scene of the Bumblebee movie is the the closest thing we've ever gotten. Uh, again, y'all want you want me to win a uh, uh, you want you want me to review Bumblebee? Just vote for it in the polls. Vote for it in the polls. This this year, Kung Pao into the fists won. I mean, this time uh, Kung Pao into the fists won. But at the same time. Let me know in the, if, if you guys really want me to watch that movie. I really do want to watch that movie. But, you know, y'all got to tell me. So, please subscribe. And, uh, and remember, please smash that like button if you want to see more sexy and nerdy content. And subscribe if you think I deserve it. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Yes, everybody in the comments. I remember now. It's totally Bruticus in there. Not Devastator. Bruticus. Right, right, right. I've never heard of King Bruticus, damn it!